Hi, so I'm Audrey Miller, and right now in my LA Nink 9 class, I'm doing a 20 time project. So, my project focuses around organ donation and the organ crisis that's in America right now. So, for my hands on aspect, I'm holding a donor registration drive in the middle IMC tomorrow, Thursday the 10th, and Friday the 11th at 7 15 through 7 45. All that you have to do is fill out an online waiver that takes at most one minute. So even if you're already signed up through your driver's license, the Iowa Donor Network recommends that donors be registered to the online database as well. So I'd really appreciate it if you came to the registration drive tomorrow and Friday before school in the middle IMC. That's great. Good job. Uh, all right, so yeah, make sure you show up tomorrow, 715, get yourself registered. Uh, even if you have it on your driver's license. Uh, a couple of things really quick, it is Teacher Appreciation Week, so again, give your teachers a high five, tell them something nice, tell them thank you today. Uh, on Friday, we're going to have a table with uh, sticky notes out in the foyer, and you can write a note to a teacher and a sticky note, and then we'll stick it up on their door. Uh, so a nice little way to say thank you at the end of the week. So please make sure you stop by that booth uh, in the foyer for Teacher Appreciation Week. Also a reminder, smart time is a, a time to get work done, time to get caught up, time to get help. Uh, time to be in clubs. It is not uh, a release time. There is no release during smart time, so you do need to remain in the building. Even if you have a third period release, you need to remain in the building until that release starts, uh, and that's something that we are going to um, be a little bit harsher on because uh, some people seem to believe that they can just leave, and they can't. So please uh, follow those rules. We want to maintain smart time. Uh, we want to have that opportunity for students, and uh, we need to make sure we follow that very simple rule to remain here at school. If you get signed up by a parent, have a pass, you will go, but otherwise you need to remain in the building. All right, announcements time. What do we got going on today? So if you want to sign up for a class officer, that will begin today, Tuesday, May 8th, and run through May 16th, so sign up in room 164. Attention seniors, are you undecided in your plans after graduation? Are you interested in working full-time? Are you already planning to work but looking for a career-oriented position? If you said yes to any of these questions, plan to attend the CRCSD Future Ready Career Fair. It will be held on Tuesday, May 15, 2018 from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Kirkwood Lynn County Regional Center. Transportation will be available if needed. Interested in attending? Sign up in the Counseling Office by Friday, May 11. Attention current sophomores and juniors that sign up for the Building Trades next year. There will be a meeting on Thursday, May 10 in room 126 during Smart Time that you should attend. Your attendance at the meeting could ensure proper placement in the course and completing next steps and finalizing your registration for the class. If you do not attend, your registration for the Building Trades class may be in jeopardy. See your counselor with any questions. Area Ambulance has agreed to come back out next Monday, May 14th to help assist any student that has not completed the CPR training. Senior NHS members, stop in Mrs. Casper's room, 72, to purchase your graduation cords. The cords are $15. Students, summer school information is available in the counseling office. Summer school will be held June 4th through June 29th, and attendance is mandatory. Summer school is open to any student who has failed a face-to-face -face class and would like to recover the credit for said class. Students are limited to one class and space is limited, so please stop in the counseling office to pick up the information ASAP. Registration begins immediately until filled. See your counselor with specific questions or concerns. So birthdays today, Mercedes Bauer, Jeremy Chifus, Taylor Griffin, Griffith, my bad, Grace Hanrahan, Logan Hill, Alexis Lovendusky, Seth McGraw, Mercedes Parsons, and Melora Peter. And for a staff birthday, Christina Merritt. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to all. Hey, uh, art lovers, the art club's last work session will be on Wednesday, May 16th, right after school in room 301. We'll be creating some cool, soothing art and finishing clay sculptures. Hope to see you there. Uh, activities for today, uh, of course, always good luck to our AP exam students. We've got AP Lit, AP Japanese uh, today. Good job and good luck to them. Uh, we've got boys tennis uh, at 9 a.m. this morning at Veterans Memorial. Good luck to them in the district competition. <coughs> girls JV is at Ellis this afternoon at 2. JV2 girls soccer is here at home at 415 versus Waterloo East. JV Girls 1, Men Women's Doubleheader is at Jeff tonight at 4.15. Uh, then we've got Tennis uh, JV1 Girls uh, at Jeff, JV1 Boys at Jeff, and Soccer, again, the Men Women Doubleheader at Jefferson High School at 6 o'clock. JV1 Men Women, I don't know why it's on there twice, but it is. Lunch menu for today, Cougars, you've got Station 1 and 2, Burger Basket with Fries, Station 3, Hot Dogs and Breaded Chicken, Salad, Subs and Parfait, Station 4, 
the King Chicken, Station 5, Pizza Crunches with Marinara Sauce and Sweet Potato Fries, and your alternate on Station 5 is Pepperoni Pizza. Hooters, I do hope that you have a great day today. Take advantage of the time you've got. We don't have a whole lot more time together, and you've got exams coming up, so during Smart Time, you should be studying. Don't put it off to the last minute. And as always, Go Cougs!